Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a featured image to the events calendar page, um, specifically the month and listing pages. So for example, on the sample page, I have a featured image which is displayed here. But if I go to the event page, I'm not actually able to add a featured image to this page. And that's because this page is being rendered by the events calendar plugin and it's not actually being rendered by a page. Fortunately, there's a way for us to do this using advanced custom fields pro. And that is by using their options page function. You can read more about it on the documentation, which I'll link up in the show notes, but we'll use this basic example for now. So you're gonna to wanna to copy and paste this and paste it into your functions.php file in your theme. And then this will allow you to select an options page when building a custom field. So for this, I'm gonna add a new field group and call it event banner image. And instead of uh, assigning this field to a post type or a page, I'm going to actually assign it to an options page. And that's available here because we added this code in our functions.php file. I'm going to go ahead and add a field now, just call it event banner image and give it an image field type. Everything here looks good. And I'm gonna go ahead and publish that. And what this does is it now adds this options item in the menu. And if I go ahead and click that, I now have this field to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add this placeholder image and select that. Now that we have the image um, uploaded to the field, we want to go ahead and render it on the page. So as you can see, just by uploading that field, or that image to that field rather, it's not going to automatically add it to the page because that field has no idea about this page. That's up to us. So what we're going to need to do is a combination of two things. We're first going to want to be able to select the value of that field and you can read about that more um, on the documentation, but essentially it looks like this. And we're also going to want to conditionally render it only on the events month and list page. Fortunately, there's this good snippet here, which lists um, some functions provided by the events calendar that can help us target that page. So I'm going to copy a few of these here. And add it to the header of my site and the site that I'm working with here this is just a boilerplate theme that I created using underscores so is tribe month let's just do this for now and test this to make sure it's working And if we refresh the page, hello world is showing up. But if we go to the list page, it doesn't show up and it doesn't show up for the day page. So what we need to do is try past and try upcoming. Showing up for the list, month, not day though. So let's check this out. Is day. And feel free to mess around with this to meet your needs. This should work. I haven't tested out all the edge cases. Let's just test out the day. So it's showing there. 
let's do a date in the future. So it still shows there. It's still showing. It's still showing. Okay, so now we know that our conditional is working, but now we actually want to show the field or the featured image that we created. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this snippet here. Now, if we use the field, it will render the value from the field, which we actually need to update. So in this case, it's header title, but we we called our field, I think it was event banner image. And you can see that by going to your field groups and then looking at the field group and looking at the actual field. So event banner image. So if I do this without doing get the field and just do the field, it should render the values to the screen. Oops. Okay, cool, this is good. So it's rendering that output. Now we want to make it look nice. So I'm gonna assign this a variable of image and get field. And to make sure this is working, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to pass it through the print R function and it just will display all the values that this field contains. And by wrapping it in this pre tag, it just formats it nicely. So this is good. So. We have everything we need. Now we just want to render the actual image. So let's see here. Echo image sizes. And I'm getting that from here. And I'll just do, in this case, I'll just do large but feel free to do whatever you want to be consistent with your theme and it's also helpful to do or to render out the alternate text for screen readers and accessibility and it doesn't happen to be any alternate text but it's still a good practice to render it out and it's also good practice to escape this so escape url this is a wordpress function this will just escape that URL and this will escape this attribute. That's another WordPress function as well. And it, it essentially just sanitizes these values in case there is um, something malicious in there or just something isn't encoded correctly. So I'm gonna get rid of this pre-formatted tag. And if I refresh the page, excellent. So we see the image there and it is consistent with this. Now obviously there needs to be some styling done, but this is a simple way to add an image to your event archive, your month view, your list view, your day view, 